living in Dominica is one of the most wonderful experiences anybody could ever hope for. I mean, we're blessed with so much natural green forests. We have a lot of rivers, white sand beaches, black sand beaches. I would not want to live anywhere else apart from Dominica. Dominica is a beautiful, extremely unique island. So it's really the kind of jewel of the Caribbean. What struck me when I started working out here is the diversity that we can offer students. It's got hugely diverse habitats, nine active volcanoes, uh, endemic species, so things that you just don't find anywhere else on the planet. Then adding in things like the, the whales that you can see here, and then we have the coral reefs. Really for a school student to be able to experience all these different types of research, I think, is extremely unique. It's such a great way to be able to show students what field biology is like and what Dominica is like as a country as well. On the Opal project in Dominica, there are a huge amount of uh, surveys we're able to do. So we do habitat plots, we do mist netting for birds, we do point counts for birds, we do uh, bat mist netting as well, and then we do a large scale invertebrate project. And then we also have some very specific projects, very specific to Dominica, so our Champagne Reef, where we're looking at ocean acidification, our invasive species project, looking at, at the anoles, um, and then up, up at the marine site, we're doing all sorts of different marine monitoring up there as well. I really enjoyed the lodge, so the Three Rivers Eco Lodge, because it was an entirely sustainable, eco-friendly way to live. But I've always wondered what it would be like, what you have to do to make yourself entirely eco-friendly with like a really low carbon footprint. And it was great to just like forget about phones, forget about communication technology, and just immerse myself in nature properly. When we catch a bird, we go through the books, have the students look through and try and figure out what we've caught. They usually all get the opportunity to release a bird, so I show them proper handling techniques on how to hold a bird. I show them the process of ringing. I think the students quite like seeing the birds up close. They don't realize how interesting birds can be until you actually see them up close. Very interesting to come out into the rainforest at night with all the insects and the noises and learning about the bats they gain a better understanding of how important they are and that they're not scary. And a lot of students end up leaving with a huge appreciation which they didn't have before. So I'm showing them the collecting techniques for butterflies and we're sweeping with nets through bushes looking for flies and beetles and spiders. They will go into the records and they will go into the collection in the museum. Students will be contributing to the science of entomology. Dominica is very unique in that it has the site of Champagne. Champagne has bubbles which are released by the volcano and they actually have CO2. And this is actually a very similar process to ocean acidification caused by increased CO2 in the atmosphere. So when we swim across the gradient of Champagne, we, if you like, are looking into the future. We can see how reefs may look in the future when CO2 is at a higher level. So what's great about Opwell is that the students can actually help us collect this real data which goes towards our scientific publications. Hurricane Maria hit Dominica on the 18th of September in 2017. That was a Category 5 hurricane and it really did devastate the island. Um, so the forest initially was completely stripped of trees. Within months, everything started to get green again, and the forest is recovering. Operation Wallace has been working here since 2014, and so with the four years of data that we had before the hurricane, and all the data that we're now collecting, we're going to be able to advise not only Dominica, but other islands in the Caribbean, how you can look at preserving your biodiversity after such events. Coming to see the power of nature, I think, has been really humbling for a lot of our kids. And tracking those changes is actually a really important lesson for them to learn about ecology. I think that that creates a very unique experience here that isn't provided in a lot of other places. From a biological point of view, it's been hugely interesting uh, to see the impact that the hurricane has had on this environment. The data that the girls have been collecting is hugely important and they feel like they're making a contribution.
we're looking at the differences between the native and the invasive species of annelids on the island. And we're trying to compare the ranges that we see now, post-hurricane, to what we've collected pre-hurricane. So the students spend much of their day essentially fishing for lizards. So they'll be taking body temperatures from lizards that they've caught in the field. Um, and they'll also be taking environmental data. And they also get the contact with the scientists who have had years of experience in working with specific species or specific research questions. So we've had one week in the forest and now we're spending a week here on the marine site at Fort Shirley and they're doing an awful lot more snorkelling and diving in particular. Another unique opportunity for the students is to stay in one of the historical monuments on the island. We actually stay in Fort Shirley, which is a 17th century fort based in the north of the island. So students, uh, once they arrive, will have a ton of options for um, their marine activity of choice. It involves scuba diving for certified divers, it involves snorkeling, um, it involves getting their open water certification. So students have the ability to learn how to dive in beautiful Dominica. So all you need to do when you come here is have a love for the oceans and we'll have something for you to do. In terms of daily tasks, we do different things with them, so kind of introducing them into the marine life to start off with, and we're kind of showing them what they're going to see, and then we also kind of take it a step further and show them how to um, conduct scientific surveys, as well as we can uh, monitor how the reef is recovering after Hurricane Maria. I just love the water, so diving today was really fun. I think this only pushed me more into doing the advanced open water and doing trips like this, hopefully, you know, helping out or just being it more in nature, understanding it, it really just makes you appreciate the world around you. The beauty of this island is impeccable. I've never been somewhere so beautiful in my entire life. For being so young, having the opportunity to collect data that's so important after the hurricane in this place. It's really like empowering and incredible. And knowing that like field research, I thoroughly enjoy it and it's definitely for me and I would have never discovered that if I hadn't been here.